Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I am going to send more stuff to the moon to accompany the little base that I already sent over there and we are going to begin with a nuclear reactor because the base's power situation is not currently stable and that's what I'm going to do while waiting for this Mars window where I'm going to send over a supply module to Mars and that is the plan. So. Without further ado, I'm going to pop into the VAB and we're going to see about our nuclear reactor options. Now I've added simple logistics to the install because otherwise the nuclear reactor wouldn't be able to supply the base. And yeah, so that is a new mod added in. I don't know if it's down here right now because it's not a VAB thing, but hopefully it'll work out. So when we plop the reactor close to the base, the base will get power from it, hopefully. So yeah. Hmm. What do we think of this? <laughs> A nuclear reactor on a little lander stage thing. So here is the Topaz 2 reactor which provides 5 kilowatts uh, on a tiny little stage that's supposed to land it. I mean 3290 meters per second will do. We've got a supplementary solar panel and we've got little thrusters, it's hypergolic even, it's not methane because the methane engine has too much thrust. And yeah, six tons, we just need to be able to send six tons to the moon, assuming this doesn't do something horrible. The center mass is right there, so it shouldn't tip over. Okay, so what do we need to actually send it there? Do we need this? Maybe I can make it smaller. I think we're going to resort to boosters instead of trying to get so much delta V from a single stage. Oh, we probably have enough to lift off actually. That's not looking too bad altogether. Did we need... We, maybe we just need an extra engine. We don't even need boosters. Maybe, I, maybe I've made this too big still. I haven't unlocked the SRB lines much, I don't think. So, no good SRBs right now. Plus, with the mods that I have being my mods, I don't have many SRBs. That really cast one, I mean... I've got, I've got nothing between the caster one and the four segment booster. <laughs> So, or I, I do have this uh, SM-16 booster, which was supposed to be like, sort of like a, one of the AJ-60 kind of things. But do I really want to pay 46000 to unlock it? And then it's 40000 a pop. I think that's enough altogether. Okay, KCT, how long? 102 days. This is not an optimally staged rocket, but might be okay. I might have... I've unlocked sort of cheaper, I mean larger engines, because we're using these 2100s. I think altogether these... These stage combustion ones are probably much better than the methane. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I should have them on the boosters, but maybe I shouldn't have all these. Well, it might be cheaper to have these. Well, we can lift off without the boosters then. Pretty high thrust weight ratio by the end, though. Maybe we should have fewer core engines. At least the thrust weight ratio doesn't get so high. But just having four engines and no boosters is cheaper. Maybe I'll put them in pairs and just shut some down. Ah, uh, but that delta V is actually a little bit low to get to the moon. Well, like we can make the tank longer. It takes longer to build it than the kerosene one. Ah. Uh, 
kerosene one with boosters takes less time to build. Well, the build time is more important to me than the cost, I think. So we'll go with the lower build time. I don't know why it's taking less time to build. Okay. We'll go with one of these. And I wanted to land some supplies too. So... Let's see, this is one ton. Don't know if I only want to land one ton of supplies. Might be okay. Maybe we should send people, send Kerbals over there. Hmm. That's expensive though. Let's land the reactor first. Let's do one thing at a time. Um, even if we put the supply module on the second slot, it'll be done in time for the Mars window, so I'll just move it like that. In fact, it'll be done first. How much did that cost? Should we build a second one? Maybe we should build one with less supplies but more Delta V. Right now, for its Mars part, this has 2,447 meters per second, so it's not a lot. But we're carrying a fair amount of food and water and oxygen, so if we could cut that down a bit. 8,700, let's say half of that. Let's say one year for two. Right now, this is sized for one year for four. Okay, we could rearrange the tanks a bit, but maybe I'll just leave them be. Let's say 3,800. The, because this is supposed to be a habitable thing, its dry mass is really high. 1.89 tons out of 3 tons. So the actual food is only 1.3 tons. These have a much better dry mass fraction because they don't have to be like, they're not food containment. Okay, so that'll be a little bit better. And being able to send supplies over to Mars is definitely a prerequisite for being able to send Kerbals. So I'll, I'll call it Supply Module L for light. It's smaller. Unfortunately, I think the contract for Kerbals in Mars orbit or Mars flyby requires three Kerbals, not two. So we're going to need more than this. But... I'd rather not send all the supplies with the Kerbals, necessarily. No, Mars supply. So, when the Mars mission gets over there, we'll give them more supplies. Okay, well, we'll queue it up. I don't know if it'll go this time around. Okay, uh, we sh uh, maybe I'll, I can try and get this light module off on that window, so I'll... No, oh, rush build is too expensive, forget that. We could build entire rockets for that. Um, yeah, we'll just wait on that, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna send a nuclear reactor to our moon base. Let's see if that works out for us. Okay, it's February, it's probably still dark by the time we launch. Okay. SAS on, throttle, that throttle's not working, throttle up. Alright. I guess that's all of them. Ignition. Oh, ignition failure. We'll go on that, go. Okay, maybe not as go as I'd like, but... Okay. You can do it. I gave you boosters for a reason. Are you sure? Uh, activate engine. Ah, we can get it back. It's fine. Cheating test fl test light a little bit. Okay, well, should be getting through max Q just as the boosters run out. Oh, there was some performance issue on that one. Um, I don't know if they're down, they're done yet or not. I'm gonna shut them down and then release them. 
Okay, staging. Bearings. I'm sure NASA is thrilled with the way I'm handling this nuclear reactor business. The controller is actually sandwiched between the reactor and the tank there, it's sort of hidden. Oh, that one doesn't work. Alright, we are in orbit. Set that down. Okay, moon. Well, we'll end up with a little bit extra in this stage, and if I can, I'll use it. Okay, well, first things first. Let's get the supplementary solar panel out. I'll I'll choose not to start the reactor until it's going away from the Earth. How about that? NASA would probably approve. And go. So we are trying to land. That's that's what we're trying to land. Moon base. Currently in the dark, which is not good. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter for this too much, but... I don't know how long we'll have to wait until it's back in line. I mean, presumably it's gonna be over here, something like over here when we get there. We're gonna have to wait in orbit for, like, a few weeks. Well, past geosynchronous level, I'll say we can start the reactor. Alright. Should be good enough for everybody, starting the reactor. Well, the electric charge is full. Okay, once we get in, we have an option to change our orbit, if it can help us land quicker. Okay, go. And then we're hoping that this will come around and get under our orbit and we'll land at that time. Okay. This stage is gonna be left as space junk though. Around the moon. Five minute stage. Well, way early. It's gonna be in the dark, sorry about that. And again, that's precisely why we're sending this. Okay, nope, that's not good. Okay, that's not helping either. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh no! No, I misjudged it, no! Okay, 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 uh Just don't- oh! Don't land on the reactor. All right, well, fine. Let me just test. Uh, are we in simple logistics range? We sort of are. This resources. Toggle plug. Well, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be reading the moon base, even though we're in render range. That's just its resources. For some reason, our logistics network isn't really working very well here. Maybe it is just a little bit beyond what can be done, but I mean, I thought 2.1 kilometers would be fine. Hmm. I don't know if simple logistics is actually working, working was the problem. We had a lot of spare methane and oxygen, didn't we? 
Okay, back to Space Center. That was a bit expensive. Okay, um, there's a mini Topaz reactor. The Topaz reactor gives 5 per second, 5 kilowatts. The mini Topaz gets 1.25. It's 25,000, this is 50,000. I feel like we might as well just go with the 50,000 one. So this, this whole deal, whoops. This will be a lot cheaper though without this one. We could go with a smaller rocket with this. Uh, yeah, let's just go cheaper for now. Well, this is going to be a bit high on the thrust weight ratio, actually. It's basically an R-10. And if we go with a big tank, it'll be too much. Maybe we should have two here and make it bigger. Fine, methane. You put five on there, it's a little bit nicer. 66,000 for that arrangement. 68,000 for this one. Uh, okay, we'll just make this bigger. We don't really need that much in these two stages. But this will be capable of doing five tons to the moon. Okay, we're sending a smaller nuclear reactor this time. After doing the damage. Mini Topaz unit. Still will be done before the Mars window. Even in the second slot. Uh, maybe I want it in the first slot. That one isn't going to Mars yet anyway. This time we should be launching in daylight. Okay, we're lined up with the moon. SAS on, Thrall is up. And... Ignition. And launch. Much smaller rocket for a much smaller reactor. I did not put more batteries this time. Oh well. Okay, separation and ignition and fairings. Now we'll be right over the United States for the transfer burn this time. Okay. Not the. Oh no, it just wants to target the probe that we crashed. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see when we get there. Let's just do the trans. Uh, well, let's just get there first, I mean. Okay, we're in Lunar SOI. The base is here. Uh, let's just use RCS. We gotta try for a landing on the next time, and but we're just gonna tilt the orbit a little bit. Hey, target the actual target now. Okay. This time I'm keeping a low thrust initially. Okay, well, there's that. We need to land near the one that's highlighted. Well, coming in with a lot of extra fuel here. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, don't go up, don't go up. Okay, 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 okay. Well, it's further than I wanted to be. Okay, well, let's see. No, something's... Pl well, we'll just leave it plugged in. Hmm. Well, its resource pool is more than... What it's got here. If we toggle the plug... Hmm. 
and request resources. Should I be plugged in or not? But it seems like being plugged in is worse for our electric charge here. Oh, that's you. No. Um, and the problem is hopping up is also a bad thing. Maybe... Should we be plugged in? <laughs> hmm. Are you receiving stuff? It doesn't seem to receive the power supply from the reactor. It can receive power from the reactor. Like request resources and it fills up. That doesn't receive the continuous supply, I don't think. Now well, now plugged in that still has the same amount of power draw. I don't know. So it can get supplies, but it's not getting the replenishment from the reactor. So I'm not sure this is good enough. But all right, well, it's over there. Probably a safe distant? Not really. But, well, I mean, it's a mini reactor. Maybe half a kilometer is not a bad deal. All right, back to Space Center. Let's try and get to the Mars window and send the supply module out and see if that works. That's a heavy and expensive thing to launch. Just finish that. Oh, r and building will be fully upgraded. Maybe we should aim for long-term habitation. I need more stuff in experimental propulsion. Nuclear power? Well, we sort of already have some nuclear power. But yeah, I think the main thing will be the units with recycling in from USI. So uh, we'll just start going up this way. Even though recycling doesn't have anything in it. This is re it requires both recycling and storage technology, so okay. And then short-term habitation will require logistics. I'll just get that started. Then we do have enough for hydroponics. Fine. I'm just gonna start doing these. Uh, I wish there was more stuff in them. Okay, well the Mars window is in 47 days, so that's next. Here we go. SAS on. Throttle up. And... Yes, we do light those first. Boosters only first. And ignition. And launch. Alright, we're past the speed of sound. Okay, starting the core. Oh, well that's a problem. I think we can sort of activate them. Oh, nope, that's a permanent one. That's a permanent one as well. Okay, we get two. Let me, let me see if we can try. Okay, we, we can get three. We got all four back. <laughs> We're keeping an extra pitch after all that business. Separation. Well, let's try to get rid of the fairings. The reason we don't ignite them at the start is actually because if we do, then at booster separation, the thrust to weight ratio will be too high. It's a little bit more efficient to light them higher up anyway, but basically it's a thrust to weight ratio thing. Okay, staging. Okay, we are in orbit. 3,948 in order to transfer to Mars. Well, it says 4,200. Gosh darn it. Okay, but let's say we do that. How much does it take to capture uh, Mars? That's the more important part. Well, let's go with that for now and see how much it takes to capture. Taking one year to get there. 
Well, we'll have enough for capture, so that's what's important. But we have enough to get to the ships that come in, that's more of a trouble. We'll probably need a mid-course correction to really make it nice. But I think we'll take this, even though it's charging us more than this stage was about to deliver. So this is carrying one year supplies for four Kerbals. Assuming no recycling units or anything like that. Okay, Oop, it's saving. Staging. And go. Three hypergolic engines. Okay, well, correction will be necessary. Be nice to get an encounter first, though. Okay, we do. Pretty good. You know, I don't think I'll even correct that. <laughs> I mean, that could be compatible with Phobos and Deimos. How's the sun gonna be, though? Well, we, we are recharging for now, and it should be able to handle two-panel recharging. By the time we get to Mars, it'll be oriented completely differently anyway. So, this is on its way to Mars, no correction necessary. And if I plot the capture burn here, it is within our budget, with some to spare. Okay, so I'm going to add the SOI change alarm. And our first supply module for Mars is on its way, with one year supply for four Kerbals. So with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.